Who is the meanest YouTuber you've ever met? Because if I say it, it will bring controversy. But that's, that's controversy. the essence of uh, this uh, internet that I never use before for cloud. <laughs> yeah. So which YouTuber do you think makes the most money in Africa? How uh, much money do you make in a year? <laughs> Wait, you said who and who? <laughs> Miss Trudy, uh -huh. Wabosha Maxine, yeah. Joanna Kinubia. Uh, well, and we have Banner Boy. <laughs> Banner boy who tells you the monster you met, <laughs> who thinks real issues. But I think it's, a, it's an African mentality. I've had that experience. Outside Africa, I've dealt with like global YouTubers, major. Hmm. They have never done something like that. Because but here YouTube, in Africa, it YouTube is a business. When you're collaborating with someone, it's like me and you now. Yeah. Uh, because I've seen this going a lot. Yeah. When you're a big YouTuber, you vlog with me to gain my subscribers, but then you don't post me on your videos. No, that's wrong. You know, because that's you are wrong. big. That's no. wrong. That's Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kem Tobea and today I have a guest Amara, a world traveler. Hey, thank you so much, Kemunto. First, thank you for considering me to make a collab with you. Yeah. I really appreciate you first coming here. You are in in your village and you had like <laughs> to organize this because I gave you some timeline. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I really wanted as we work together. That's mm -hmm. why I told you, hey, if we do it between now and this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's nice right. to meet you actually in person, you know. I've been watching your videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like the way you're very like uh, self confident. Like you know, that's one thing I've learned from you a lot. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> So, K-Tribe, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe also down below. In today's video, we're going to be playing... Uh, this video is highly inspired by Kat. So, it, uh, you play a tr truth or drink. But you know, Amara doesn't drink. Yeah. So, we have to respect... We can't do anything for the We so have to respect people with yeah. their wishes. So, that means we'll have to answer every question. Okay. If sure. you're not going to take shots. Sure, sure. So, the questions are going to be answered, asked by all things African. Nana, say hi. Hi. Number one, did you ever fought? Huh? Me, yes. Okay, well, I just hope these questions are nice questions, you know. <laughs> like, whoa, uh, hi. So, mm -hmm. okay. Have you ever fought? I can't remember the last time I fought. Maybe I was in primary school. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. And but I've beaten a thief. Speed, speed or swallow? Yeah. I think that's a girl's <laughs> thing, right? It's not a boy's thing, right? Yeah. Swallow. I'm, 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 I'm a straight guy. <laughs> yeah. What's the worst sexual experience you've had? So, who should start first? You, because Me? you are the guest. Okay, wow. Well, my worst was, uh, it's not really an experience, but I'll say when I went to different countries, I've been to many, many countries around the world, and I met this like person who looked to be a very beautiful girl, but it turned out she was, she was a boy. What? Yeah. Ashime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nothing happened between us. But you know, I was so new in this type of environment, I couldn't differentiate between a boy and a girl. So you go to a club, you'll be like, wow, this girl looks so fine, so pretty. And when you are there, you're like, what? <laughs> wait, when she talks, when she's so close to you, you think, man, I've, I've locked down this deal. Yeah. And here, yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. Was it in Pattaya? <laughs> <laughs> all over the world they are everywhere everywhere actually big cities like in colombia mexico you find them all, all over actually only in africa like i don't see that much oh. so for me that was my biggest like kind of dating shocks uh, yeah me I, me i don't think i've have experienced not yet i hopefully never <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. do you like youtubers in africa me it's not like I like or I dislike. I totally kind of like people who work hard and they are honest. Like, if you're not honest, even if you are the best, the top, I don't deal with you. Yeah. Me, I don't like some. You don't like some? Yes. Why? Because I've met them and that. What they show uh, online. Like louder. What they show online. Yeah. And what they sh like when you meet them, like the way I've met you. Because yeah. I was nervous, but they're yeah. meeting you. Why? <laughs> because people yeah. show, like, some people have two personalities. Yeah. 
the online personality and the real personality. So yeah. I'll say from personal experience, yeah. I don't like some of them. Some of them. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll say like <laughs> this. Like me, some, some YouTubers, I don't... But I think like maybe African YouTubers have a very different mindset. Mm. We see ourselves through like numbers, who is bigger, who is smaller, yeah. or this is stealing stealing my subscribers, or this is <laughs> copying me and stealing I, uh, this so one is stealing my me yeah. for example me I don't have that time, you know. Me I'm always focused and see my see it is pride or uh, something like that. Mm. So I I tend to actually focus on bigger things. Like for example, my mission is to go to every country in the world. So if I'm focusing on every country in the world, I can't just put my energy somewhere in Africa and yeah. And, yeah be, it's like being close-minded. Yeah, so I'm never close-minded. I'm always very global, very global. Mm -hmm. So which YouTuber from Africa do you specifically not like? I would say really I don't like anybody, but actually I don't like certain behaviors. You know, there's a difference between disliking somebody and just something, it, right. some behavior you don't like, you know? Yeah. Even our own parents, there are some things they do to us that we really don't like. So, yeah. You can say, you, me, for me, I can't like name names because that would be bringing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, drawing shade. And, yeah, because yeah. certain YouTuber may be bad to me, but yeah. he's not, uh, he or she is not bad to other YouTubers. Yeah, so exactly, it, that's also yeah, another thing. I, I may experience different circumstances with different people. Yeah, yeah. So I can't name names. Yeah. So, do you use clickbait in your videos? Me? I never use clickbait, actually. I, I just come with very nice titles. Yeah. And those are not clickbaits. That's yeah. being creative. You know, yeah, there's a difference very, between being creative and mm -hmm. being a clickbait guy. Yeah. One thing I realize is people who use clickbait are short-lived. You can get those views in that video because you said, oh, maybe I'm getting married and you're not getting married. But the next video, people will not be ready to open it. They will be like, ah, I, I watched. Exactly. And especially if you do like one, two, three types of clickbait videos, yeah. people already categorize you. I believe in hard work. I believe in... But the fact is, I like to take the best part of the video and put it there. The one that me as a person, I like. Yeah, Let's say I'm filming about maybe streets and there's this beautiful, beautiful girl who I filmed during my video. That's the girl who will be because that's what, yeah. what I want to see because, as me. Mm, you know? Usually, like, uh, you we are all visual creatures. Yeah, we are all visual. We click to things that, that we relate to. We relate to, are to we like. Yeah, something yes. like that. So if I, if for me, I'll say I've used clickbait, but yeah. not like clicking, like saying like I'm swimming and then I'm not swimming. I just like use like I, like anything that can entice you. Can entice you. I entice you to click the video yeah. and I deliver. So sometimes I may use that. Yeah, what's like? yeah, so for me, like clickbait, I know you can win short term, but long term you can't win. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. Do you think you are attractive? Me? I'm super attractive. Yeah, I think I can get any girl in the world. <laughs> it's really good to be confident. Yeah, even if it's the, son, the daughter, I mean, even if it's the daughter of the president. I, I strongly believe like I'm very, very attractive. I have my own flaws. Yeah. But I think uh, as a human being, number one thing mm -hmm. is always to ensure you the best. And every single day, you can always improve yourself. You know, there are some characters you have. Maybe you like sleeping or you are like gossiping. Uh, so you can stop those type of characters and be improve. like, you know, I want to shape myself. I want to be somebody I want to be, you know. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's perfect. Yeah, nobody's perfect. True. Yeah, I'm, I, me too, I believe I'm attractive because I make myself presentable. Yani? <laughs> If you have something nice, you you like you be presentable, you're yeah. attractive. Yeah. yeah, it's how you present yourself. Yeah. Everybody has something good in themselves. Yeah, true. You, even yeah. if you don't have one leg or you don't have one eye, there's yeah. always you make something that yeah. shines. Yeah. And also remember, you can be attracted to people with uh, due to many many factors. Yes. Maybe even the way they talk, even yeah. the way maybe they do their things. Maybe they are very punctual. Mm -hmm. You know. Or uh, maybe sometimes they are very beautiful, depending on very tall, very short, depending on different shades, you know, True. yeah. So when was the last time you lied? Me, me, I say, I can't remember, I swear. I'm so hard to lie. I'm so hard to lie. I better speak honest and I always say my freedom, my freedom is with honesty, yeah. <laughs> Uh, me, no, I don't lie. I think you speak so so low. I speak low. So no. Yeah, you may be surprised. No, me, I don't, I don't lie. 
You don't like yeah. it? How, how much money do you make per video? Uh, actually, that, that question is really difficult to answer because depending on the... There are many factors that can make a video make money or not make money. For yeah. example, a two-minute video with one million views cannot make the same amount of money with a one million view. Please, guys, can you give us some... Yeah, man. Sickle bar. We have, we have some people right there. They... We could have shot it in the room, but yeah. it's weird. Yeah. No. So, I would say to answer, to answer that question is really difficult because... Uh, Let's say a one million, uh, a one, no, a video, two minutes video with one million views, and there's a 20 minutes video with one million views. You totally make different amount of money. At the mm -hmm. same time, also, it depends who is watching you. You know, yeah, if kids yeah. are watching you, you can't really make that much money than if youngsters are watching you or people who are ready to chase their dreams and want to buy cars. You know, and also people are watching you from which country. You know, yeah. So if People are watching you from like perceived poor countries, I have to say like that, or developing countries. Africa, you can't Africa. you can't make a lot of money, but if people are watching you from like these countries like Norway, the UK, the US, you make really a, a, a better bet you do a good shot. Yeah, yeah, me too I've noticed like every video is different. Even the like even a video with your less views will give you much money than a video with the highest views in your yeah. channel. So I can't really like Specify. And to add on it is, I never focus on a video. I never, I always focus on a channel as a, as a, as a oh. whole. I always see, oh man, last month maybe. And even I never focus on money that much. It's as important as it may sound. Yeah. But I really focus on like building my audience, connections with, between me and my followers. Because sometimes I get donations like of two thousand dollars, four hundred dollars, two fifty through my PayPal. So you see, it's just beyond the YouTube money. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> How much do you get paid for IG posts, Instagram posts? Huh? I think I've never been paid for Me Instagram. Too. Me I've too. never been paid, but never. I know you can you can actually do brands. Brands posts. So if you're out there, you guys maybe you wanna do, you wanna like work with us. Yeah. I think it would be really really nice to work with you guys. Yeah, I'll put your like every link for Amara down below. Ah, uh, thank you. For okay. who don't know him, but I, I guess everyone knows him. No, I don't have audience in Africa. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Actually, even people you're watching this, maybe you're from the US. Please subscribe to her channel because I'm gonna be doing another exclusive video with her in my channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have receipts or screenshots that could expose a popular YouTuber? Yes. Yeah, me too, me too, I have, but uh, uh, I don't put them like to expose. I, I, I have just those, keep... I, I just have those receipts because sometimes, you know, when you say something, people may think you are lying. People yeah. may say, oh, he's just saying because he's a popular he guy or clouch. girl. Yeah, yeah, he, is, but if you sure. show them, look, man, this is what happened when I, this, we were dealing with this situation and this was the response. So, yeah. but uh, it's not as important as, uh, yeah. as I, I would I would wish to like. I will never expose them because yeah. if you expose them, it just shows you as a person. Yeah. But I just keep them. You know, when you are going to a lawyer or something, you need to prove something. Yeah. So. And also another thing is we don't have to expose anybody. No. You just have to speak the truth. You know. So <laughs> speaking the truth is not exposing I hate, somebody. I hate you know? that word. But yeah. No so if 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 uh, if somebody asks you a question about somebody, you really, <laughs> you know, you are not in good terms. The only thing you have to say is the truth the way it is. Yeah. So that's not even if exposing, they but it's it just. Or not, yeah. It's on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it, if it involves money, will you? Will don't you, put will money. You take, in, don't take put money in front of anything. Actually, but for sometimes me, sometimes yeah. you can get like me and you maybe go viral this yeah. video. Then a brand comes to you. Huh? No, there's to no problem. There's no problem. But about now you are greedy. You don't come. You don't share. Like I don't know. Me, I'll say like this. When it's actually one thing you should understand about uh, like what we do is always stay focused on your mission. Mm -hmm. These other things, money, uh, viral videos, or that got more views than me, just leave it alone. Focus like me now. I'm focusing on going to every country in the world. That is my main focus. Anything else in between here, I see it as a joke. Yeah. So, like you, maybe you can have a target. You're saying maybe before 2021, I should be at 100,000 subscribers. That should be your target. So once you have that target, any other thing you see here is just a small distractor and you just bash it off. 
Yeah. You know, once you have a major target of what you really want to do, mm-hmm. every single day, even if things come up, mm-hmm. your focus is very different, you know? True. Yeah. So what's the biggest thing you regret posting? <coughs> regret? Me, I, I don't regret. One thing I don't regret is because uh, I believe every day people, people grow. So let's say when I was a baby, I was maybe 12 years, I used to wear a certain number of shoes. And now um, this year's very old, I have to wear a different number of shoes. So even if I did something so bad those days, I sit, I sit as a growth today. So I never look back and say like, oh man, why did I do this and do that? No. I say, even if I made a mistake, maybe I did something, I posted something that was not supposed to be posted. I said, no, 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 I just learned like, uh, like, oh, this thing, I did it. I should not do it because I don't like it anymore, you know? Yeah. yeah. May I regret posting this video? I won't say it because I've, I've put on private. It's private. I did a story time. <laughs> yeah. About my, my first boyfriend. And I really regret posting that video. Why? But it's good it's on private now. <laughs> because I don't like showing like my other side. I don't yeah. like, like, like telling my, my personal thing. Wow. That's the only video I regret. <coughs> what was the hardest, scariest time on your travel? Uh, I've had many actually, many, many, many. But uh, I'll not say all, I'll just say two main. One is I, I got deported uh, in Hong Kong. So I arrived at the airport, they looked at my passport and everything and said, you know what, we're not allowing you in. <laughs> And I had to be detained like for 19 hours and my flight to Hong Kong was like 16 hours. Then going back to San Francisco, I was flying from the US. Then going back was like 14 hours. So you can imagine like you being put in that type of pressure mentally and you already booked like houses, you've booked already hotels where you're going to stay. So, and already your next flight from that country is due. So that was like one of my... You lost a lot of money. Yeah, you, first you lose a lot of money time and also that focus because you already know I will be here for one week then the next week I'll be here yeah. and you've already booked your fly, flights to leave that country but people just say no and you can't do anything you see so that was one of my hardest time and uh, other time is when I get some racist type of uh, encounters but I never cry victim of it I just it just makes me stronger yeah me, my scariest was when, uh, when Kenya, we changed the currency. Yeah. So we were in Tanzania. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't have like money to to walk around. Okay, everything was paid, yeah. but my money, like you need to have money when you're traveling, your yeah. own money. So I, uh, the, for, because I don't use card or things, I use like cash. Yeah. So when I went to the Forex to extend the money, yeah. I couldn't extend because Kenya, we were in the process of, of changing, changing to the, the new money. currency. Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't want the old currency and I had the old currency. Wow. So I was like complete, if it was not for my travel bad duty, yeah. I would like, my day, my trip, everything would have been. Just crashed. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, so she was so nice. She yeah. lended me the money. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was the worst experience. Uh, where were you in Tanzania? I was in Tanzania. No, you can take a bus back home. Zanzibar. No, but uh, uh, like everything, kila kitu likuwa sawa ime. Yeah, everything was, was very okay. So ile pesa tu ya kutembea. Speak English because oh, my audience okay. may not understand you. So, yeah. so the money for like walking around, yeah. eating yeah. outside, not on the hotel, outside, I yeah. didn't have. Yeah. So I was like depending on the transport so I was depending on another person yeah yeah it's always scary to not have Mm. money that is very scary but because you you know in my me one time in Cuba Mm. I arrived in a country Mm. and I I paid my rent halfway Mm -hmm. then I was just left with a few 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 dollars Mm -hmm. then when I went to put my ATM card it didn't accept and nobody can send a foreigner money to Cuba so me being a foreigner in Cuba, I could not receive money from anywhere in the world because Cuba has these embargoes. Yeah. And my next flight was after one month. And that was like my what third day think? I discovered. I survived. I, like, I used to go and buy like potatoes, boil, boil them, eat them like uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And I survived, survived, survived. And actually those people had taken my drone. They still wanted me to pay money 
because they had kept this drone at the airport so I needed to pay like tax for going with like an illegal stuff in yeah. their country so it was really crazy that was one of also my toughest times talking yeah. about money mm -hmm. and I was far away from home even if I told my best is like hey send me the money anytime they, they, they couldn't yeah. they couldn't mm -hmm. yeah how much money did you get from your a million views videos I can't answer that one. I don't have a million yeah. yet. <laughs> but I think I've explained about yeah. the, the money story. Like you can make really different amounts of mm -hmm. money depending on who is watching you, where they are watching you from, mm -hmm. how long what the video the is. The type of content. The type of content also. Let's say if yeah. you go to a concert and film somebody's music playing or uh, some... Those type of videos you don't make money. Mm -hmm. Somebody else talks about maybe technology, like, oh, this is a new laptop or Tesla that or cell phone. You money. make a lot of money. Oh, yeah, when you yeah. talk about money yeah. and financial business side, yeah. you get yeah, a yeah. lot of money. Yeah. Do you regret putting certain friends or YouTubers in your videos? No. <laughs> Me, I don't regret, actually. I see it as a, a good learning experience. If something went wrong, I just say, okay, that was... I, I learned my lesson. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Do you actually enjoy YouTube? Yeah, for me, I, I, I like super really enjoy. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, it's just my life. Yeah. Me too. YouTube is like, YouTube has brought like meaning in my life because I used to associate my worth with the job I'm doing. Yeah. So, you know, Kenya, they have like the, this high unemployment rate. Yeah. So, I, so I think I got depressed, but when I started doing YouTube, I focused all my energy on YouTube yeah. and I actually feel like, I don't know if it's crazy to say this, but I feel value oh, in value YouTube. In yes, yourself, I feel like, yeah. like I used to, uh, when I meet strangers, they'll ask me or someone new or a friend or someone I'm dating, they'll ask me, what do you do before doing YouTube? Yeah. I was, used to be so embarrassing that I don't have any work, but now I... When I say I'm a YouTuber, I feel so good. <laughs> yeah, one thing I'm surprised with her is she speaks very slow. Yeah, like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> not really slow, but uh, she's not like me. Like, I kind of shout. Uh, she's very calm. Low tone. Like, low tone, yeah. 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 <laughs> is it true you had a beef with other influencers and that's why you only hang with certain YouTubers? Uh, me, I don't have a beef. I just disconnect myself with... Uh, dishonest people and I got my energy I don't like to be everywhere and people writing crazy stories like oh I met that guy he did this to me and honestly even I've never met them or we just met them for a, a few while so me if you're not honest even if you are that guy watching me right there or you are a youtuber you're or maybe a musician if you're not honest when you're dealing with me I have no business with you like it's just that simple yeah. For me, I'll say it, it's a misunderstand, it, like it's a misunderstanding, yeah. and uh, I notice if I can't, if you see, like in me, I, I may believe that I'm helping you, or we are, we are, how do you say it? Helping we are each other. Helping each other grow, but yeah. if I feel like uh, I'm not bringing anything to the table, yeah. and you're also not bringing anything to the to my table, yeah. it's good. Like. There's yeah. enough space, everyone goes. Yeah, I feel also at the same yeah. time is like relationships, even if we do collabs, we have yeah. to see what we are gaining out of it. Yeah. Even if you're gaining one or two, but at least there's a positive impact. Uh -huh. And if you see there's nothing, you don't have to be there, you know. True. Yeah. Yeah. Me is I just trade everything with honesty. Yeah. yeah, that's all. How did your parents talk to you about sex for the first time? Me let me see my mom. No, my mom always told me to be very careful. Like, I don't want you to get diseases out there and you start crying over here, all over. And that actually has really built me. Anytime I'm out there, I have to be very responsible when I'm, I'm dealing with that type of, uh, you know, sector of my private life. I'm always very cautious what I'm doing. I never get too excited. May say I meet this cute girl and she's like so beautiful and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Here, no condoms. No, no, no. no. I always stick to my gun, yeah. And I think that's why I don't have a kid so far. Yeah. For me, my mom just told me, are you ready like when you when you like put yourself out there with uh, your partner or someone you think that is is he ready like when you are sick or yeah. for example you uh, you spread diseases to each other. Yeah. Is he willing to take responsibility even if it's a kid, if it's 
uh, sexual diseases. Yeah. Are you like? Is, do you think it's a, uh, someone who's responsible enough to be there? So oh. if you if you don't, yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> if someone offered you fifty thousand dollars to never talk to me again, would you? It depends what they mean. If they are taking some sort of uh, freedom from me, you know, or some like kind of crazy truth, or or you mean yes to talking, me, talking yes, to you. yeah. No, I can't. I can't trade money for anything. <laughs> me too. I can't trade money for anything. Yeah. When is the last time you masturbated? Oh my God, that's crazy. Probably maybe <laughs> last year before I met my girlfriend. Okay, you're so honest. <laughs> you are very honest. No, I'm, I'm straightforward. No, I think everybody masturbates. I think everybody, especially if you are sexually active, you know. True. You know, I, I think so. If you are sexually active, it's very normal. <laughs> and you should, you should be ashamed of it. I think the best thing is to see if you are addicted. The best way you can get out of that. Let's yeah. say you find a boyfriend or find a girlfriend. But sometimes when people have a boyfriend, like you, yeah. like your girlfriend is not here, yeah, today. so you can still yeah. do it. I will not shame. I will not shame it yeah. because everybody kind of does it. Even if some yeah. people does. But me, I have I have something with this masturbation thing. <laughs> like let's say if I masturbate, I feel like uh, like my energy is gone like yeah. something you bad feel? will happen mm -hmm. or maybe that day i'll have some crazy thing happening mm -hmm. something will not go so straight with me let's say even i'm flying my flight can be cancelled mm -hmm. or i can miss my flight or mm -hmm. i can get some bad email saying oh you know this so i always try i think like anytime i do it i'm giving part of my like super strong energy out there next yeah. question Did oh you, you didn't answer, answer. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Why are, you, why are you playing me, Jemut? Jemut is playing me live here on TV, eh? Guys, you know I don't talk things like this on my channel. <laughs> okay. Last week. Next question. Which African YouTuber is overrated? Ah. So guys, we've finished. We're heading home. We spent like five hours here and it was so nice meeting Amara. So if you like this kind of video, if you like watching my channel, please give it a subscribe down below. Watch more videos here.